I was put on top of something. Okay. Should put that. Okay. And uh, we got a live cat and dead cat. Dead cat. <laughs> <laughs> live cat, dead cat. Uh, anyways, uh, hello there. Welcome to Gabe's Backyard, where we interview talent from around Des Moines, Iowa. My name is Gabe Yotajeda, and I'm sitting here with Dominic Gray. Uh, Dominic, can you please tell us where you're from and what you do? Uh, well, please respect my privacy. Thank you. So, what do you do? Um, well, at the moment, um, I'm just working like anybody else, you know, doing a nine to five. Um, but as far as filmmaking is concerned, yeah. um, I have been just dabbling in it recently, um, past year or two, with some acting, writing, and a little bit of directing as well. Would you call yourself a writer, director, and actor? Well, that's the thing. I think that I haven't really found which one it would be, necessarily. Um, so I've been just kind of dabbling in all of them to kind of see what sticks. Um, but I love all of them, and that's probably the problem. It's because it's hard to find what it is that you want to do at, between what you want to do and what you're best at, and you know what maybe you should try to, I don't know, cultivate more. And since I've dabbled very recently and not so deeply into all of it, I can't tell yet at all. It's hard to tell. But I would say I probably lean more towards writer-director. Wow, that was uh, such a complicated explanation for what you could have just said in those two word sentences. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. It's a talent. Yeah. Now, Dominic, uh, do you think it's a little bright in here? It is super bright in here. Yeah, I was yeah. just, I'm squinting a lot. I don't want us to look high for our interview. Oh, I did, but we can change that. Okay, uh, so you just want to... We doing this? Yeah. Okay. Much better. Hmm. Much better. I feel good. Yeah. I feel good about that. Thank you. Feels great. That was a really good idea. So do you create any uh, videos? Do you shoot? Do you edit? I mean, you do tell us you're a writer and a director, mm -hmm. uh, sometimes an actor. So have you done any projects of, of your own? Um, recently, um, somewhat recently, I've been working with uh, Gabriel Tejeda. Do you know? Gabriel Tejeda. Gabriel Tejeda. Ah. Uh, mm -hmm. No, doesn't ring a bell. Nothing. Okay. Well, um, pretty much recently, we have uh, worked together with uh, just me and him, and uh, just a few others. You know, whoever helps out um, on a project together is pretty important one. Yeah. Um, put a lot of work and effort into it. Really. Um, probably around uh, even for. Something that was, um, it's so short to go through. Mm -hmm. um, we put in over 40 to 48 hours of work into this project. And oh, you're talking about the 48 hour film project. Yeah, I had somebody else on. No, no, no. It's, it's uh, front desk problems. Front um, desk problems. With uh, me and Gabe, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, um, you may have heard of it. It's a bit of a popular thing. Um, it's got over a thousand views on one video, I believe, which is kind of a big deal. And we feel pretty proud of it. We put a lot of work and effort into those. Well, that's good. I mean, you know, if you put in a lot of effort into the things you like uh, and other people like them, of course you're going to rack up the views. I would hope so. Yeah. I would absolutely hope Like, um, can we get a screenshot of the view count? There it is. Uh, Looking beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Can we get a screenshot of the um, like to dislike ratio. You see, I think, mm. Dominic, I like that ratio a lot better. You see, we always gotta fact check the interviewees because uh, most of the time they are actors and they lie a lot. All the time. <laughs> when do they not lie? I've already lied to you twice since you just said that. I didn't even notice. Thank you. I apologize, that's talent. I do feel like I am insanely talented um, in all fields. My main problem with that is that I feel like I would be taking away a gift that I could be given. That's very humble of you. Very honorable. I know. Thank you. Can you tell us um, about your little projects, these front desk problems? What part did you have? Um, well, me and Gabe, we worked at a hotel together. Yeah. And we'd often have a good deal of free time. 
uh, depending on the day of the week, and we would decide that we should do some filming. Um, we both played ourselves um, at the front desk. We were both front desk clerks. We would like co everything on them pretty much. Um, he mostly um, handled most of the filming, um, mostly because it was also his equipment. He knew how to use it, well, which yeah. he knows how to use it, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you don't know what I'm talking about. You do not know Gabe. Either way, he's very talented. Um, and we would work on these together. We came up with the ideas together. Usually would come out of nowhere and we decided just to do it and we, we would wing them. Is there any uh, specific video that you, you'd want people to watch? I'd say my favorite is probably going to be bears. Bears? Yes, bears. Mm. And you know, bears at a front desk is a problem, but we can have a unique spin on it. So. Yeah. Add a couple more views to that video then. We don't need any more, but I appreciate it. Thank you very much, Dominic, for, for telling us that, about your little bit of, little bit of history. Uh, now, uh, we're going to take a break, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, when we come back, uh, we are going to know a little bit more about uh, Dominic and this Gabriel fellow, recent projects, and what we, what's in store for Dominic's future goals and plans. We'll be right back. Art fought cart. Art fought cart. Air bear hair. Air bear hair. Say it again. Rubber baby buggy bumpers. Rugger baby bubby. Rubber. Rubber. Baby. Baby. Buggy bumpers. Buggy bumpers. Rugger baby bubby bump. Rugger baby buggy bumpers. No, no, no. Rubber baby. Baby. Buggy bumpers. Buggy bumpers. Yes. Rubber baby buggy bumpers. Yes. Oh, I got it. Yes, I've been saying it all the time, man. Absolutely. Oh, uh, hi, welcome back to Gabe's Backyard, Living Room Edition. My name is Gabriel Tejeda, and I am still sitting here with Dominic Gray, our aspiring filmmaker. I've already labeled you. How do you feel about that? I feel pretty good. Yeah? I like being labeled. Now, uh, we are going to start talking about where we left off. Uh, where did we leave off, Dom? Great question. Yeah, we should probably check. Probably shouldn't have been you know, rehearsing lines. Bad idea in general. Oh, bears. Bears. You were talking about your your yes. front desk problems. Yes. And now, what I was getting from that, of mm. the bears, the front desk problems, these videos you were creating with Gabe, mm. um, they, they, they sounded they they sounded like like they were um, skits. Yeah. They were more um, off the cuff. The idea came up in probably like 15 minutes, and then 10 minutes later we were filming it. And oh. then the next day it was edited up by Gabe and put onto YouTube. It was generally the idea, how now, it went down. Okay, well then, uh, have you done anything more, 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 more filming? Uh, yeah, very recently I did a 48 hour film project. Have you heard of that? Uh, no. No. Well, um, ba okay. Um, basically, um, it's where you have 48 hours to create a film. You're given a genre, you have to have your team in place beforehand, or at least that's highly recommended. Yeah. Um, you don't really want to call people right after you got the genre, then try to make a film in 48 hours. Mm -hmm. And you've got to shoot, edit, render, send it in within that time frame. Wow. And uh, yeah, Gabriel had called me up, and uh, or texted me up, and uh, asked me to be a part of it. Makes sense. Yeah. And uh, what, what was your role? Um, I was an actor. Oh, okay, excellent. I had, a, I had an acting role. So you dip in, dipping your toes into the act, into the, into the, into the, the acting? Yes, yes, okay. absolutely. Uh, so, well, tell us, um, tell, can you tell us a little bit about your, 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 your experience yeah. um, as an actor? Uh, yes, um, basically I, for the most part, um, my acting experience has just come from me doing it day to day for fun mm. um, I'll just start doing something I'll kind of give myself like a, it's more of like a boredom thing I'll start giving myself a rule set give myself a personality that I think is fun to act out at the time whatever is just happening and then sometimes I'll just act that way around people I absolutely don't know so and you're yeah. kind of like a natural actor well I don't know I mean I don't know if I'd say that um, but I definitely like to pretend for fun kind of like an actor 
well, I mean, that's one way to put it. But I think pretending is kind of like if you were to take your essence, distill it, and then drip feed it into the stars. Dominic, uh, what's in store for you in the future? Um, in the future, I'm looking to start up a uh, kind of a video production. Um, I don't know if I want to say company because it sounds really official. Yeah, for like you know, you're really posh. Yeah, yeah, it's gonna be more just me and a friend starting out. Um, a mutual friend of mine, Blake Pruitt. Yeah. Um, he, me and him are a really good team for writing, um, just general filmmaking. Um, we have a lot of similar ideas and we have a lot of them. Um, so we were thinking about starting that and currently the tentative name is Glass Canyon. And we'll be putting our videos up on YouTube and doing it old school or current school style. And uh, see where it goes from there. And what kind of goals or what kind of plans do you have for this, for this Glass Canyon? I think it's more of a thing where it would help us um, with our filmmaking in general, uh, taking our smaller ideas, manageable ones that we can film and putting them on to uh, YouTube. And um, just seeing where we can go from there, um, really just to kind of get ourselves um, bigger and better until we can start making more feature length uh, films. I think is the ultimate goal, to get to that point. Do you want to be doing feature length? Yeah. Excellent, I think I know a guy, his uh, name is Gabriel Tijeri, who might help you out. Gabriel, yeah. last name again. One more time. To to Jeddah. Gabriel. No, no, hold on. I know who you're talking about. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's it's kind of. Uh, um. No. No. Um. He hmm. he does um photography. I think kind of uh, around town. As kind of an aside. Yeah, he's not he's, that good. No. Poor guy. No, he's he's not really. You know, no. no offense. I mean, what are you gonna do? I mean, honestly, some people are cut out for certain things. Some people just aren't cut out for anything. But you know what? He does not get discouraged. No, he doesn't. And he just keeps going. He just keeps photographing. I feel like um, Persistence is his middle name. Gabriel Persistence. Did you? It rolls off the tongue, really. It absolutely does. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this has been a grand time with Dominic Gray. We learned so much about Dom, how he started from the bottom and now he's here as an aspiring filmmaker, actor, director, writer. He's gonna be starting Glass Canyons with his friend Blake. Um, you know what? I wish you the best, Dom. Thank you. I wish you the best. And we'll see you next time on Gabe's Backyard. Maybe next time we'll be in the backyard, maybe not. We'll find out. Tune in next time. This is Gabriel Tejeda signing off.